friends, Running Kimono here, and I found some penny shower curtains today over at the Dollar General. So I'm going to talk about that right off the bat because I think a lot of you really want to get in on some penny items. And they have a very unique list of, of merch that's a penny. And then also some free toothbrushes over at the Family Dollar. So guys, like where did I find all this stuff? Did I have to scour the store? No, at the Dollar General, I went to the clearance section and I opened up the Dollar General app and started to scan stuff. And that's how I managed to find this. Uh, so red dot that is uh, back to school stuff, it pennied out today. And it's until all the pennies are off the floor. So if the employees get it first or if you get it first, that's who determines who gets the pennies. Uh, the freebie guy had a really good list. So that's where I got a lot of my intel. And of the four stores that I went to today, only one store had pennies. And again, if you just even search here on YouTube or anywhere, you can find the penny list from a lot of really great content makers. I recommend to use the Dollar General app to scan um, to see what is ringing up for 0, 0.00, which will be a penny at the till. And this is like Fight Club, guys. First rule of Fight Club, there is no Fight Club. Do not ask the employees where the penny items are because it is their job to remove all of them off the floor. And if you can find them before they can, they have to sell them to you for one cent. That is the game of all of this. So it's not just on Tuesday, it's until they're cleared off the floor as well. And just to show you the little receipt, and yes, I only found eight items today, which might seem like a very chintzy haul for me, because uh, I usually, you know, show the cart and I'm like, look how great I am. But even with this, I'm very, very happy with what I got and it was a really great haul. So this is the one item that I'm really, really excited about because I actually needed a new shower curtain and Clorox is a great company. So uh, they were um, originally $8 on clearance for four and then today they're ringing up for a penny. And it's the two different ones, and they were right in the clearance section. I didn't have to look somewhere special. Now, this is part of the red dot, which is pennied out today. And that looks like almost like a, a brownish dot, but yeah, whatever. And I'm just going to show you guys the UPCs. If you want to put this on, you know, your iPad and then like use your telephone, open up the Dollar General app to scan that way. You can see if they have any in stock at your store. Just a thought. Um, sometimes it'll say that nothing's in stock and then surprisingly it is in stock. So either look for this in the clearance section or possibly look for this like, you know, in the home goods area. I did scan every single shower curtain in the clearance aisle and it was only these two, but I'm still really like over the moon delighted to get two penny shower curtains. I've never found a penny shower curtain. So this is a very useful item and we'll probably use both of them at the house because every couple years we change them out or every year. Okay, so lots of gum was part of it. Gum and baby items. It was a really weird penny list. But this little thing of extra, I think it expires in December. So it has a quick little expiry date, but sugar free. I don't surprisingly chew gum guys. So I'm going to have to donate this or something. But here is the UPC. That was a penny. And again, found this in the clearance aisle. And um, <laughs> the next one is probably going to make you guys laugh a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know who did this, but this is the Dentine um, Ice for 95 cents. I only found one of these and I actually do like spearmint. Like I like mints, like hard mints, but not gum because I have so much dental work. That this stuff is sometimes a little bit painful. Here is the UPC for this one. And again, I only found one of these guys in the store, but I was still grateful to find at least one. And here's the kicker of why this uh, penny purchase is kind of funny. Somebody went to the clearance section, opened it up and took a piece of gum out of it. <laughs> and I bought it for a penny and I didn't know until I got home and I looked at it and I thought it's funny and I don't chew gum and my husband doesn't chew gum. So I knew he wasn't like messing with me because sometimes he has like, you know, kind of prank stuff sort of thing. But I knew it wasn't either of us because neither of us chew gum in this house and somebody took one. So I thought that was pretty hilarious. I don't know why somebody would do that, but hey, it was in the clearance section for quite some time. So yeah. <laughs> I just find that really funny. Okay, so we also have this Airheads gum. Um, and this one has uh, micro candies inside, but it's sugar-free. So go and figure that one out. And I did not find an expiry date on this, which was kind of bizarre. Because um, I thought it would have like, you know, an expiry date or something. And here is the UPC. And the cashier at this one store was so nice to me. And she's like, if you could do the survey because you love to penny shop here. I'm like, absolutely, I will. And I will do that for her. But she was really nice. And Halloween was last week and I found this, which was hair color. And I thought this looks Halloween-y to me and it's a black hair color. So if I ever want to go, you know, full on, 
I look like Gene Simmons from Kiss. I guess I can do that. And here's the UPC. And this was also a dollar. Um, so as I stated, guys, I went to four stores and only one of the four I actually found pennies. You really have to be persistent with this. You have to travel a little bit. You need some time to really go through the clearance section. And what I did was I must have scanned at least 50 to 100 items. I just kept going and going and going and scanning and scanning and scanning because I knew the list is large enough that certain items like the gum, one of them would check out or something like that. So it's just to be persistent with it. Yes, it absolutely sucks to scan like 20 items and nothing's checking out. Um, but, you know, a couple items started ringing up for a penny and then I kind of got on a roll. And I saw another penny shopper at this one store and I said hi to her. She didn't say hi back. So whatever. I mean, it is what it is. She was hyper focused on. Uh, she was in the home section, like scanning like all of the, the towels and stuff. I think she was looking specifically for red dots. And I think she had a couple because she had a couple in her basket, but I wasn't going to like take it. I just said hi. But um, yeah. <laughs> and then I just left with my eight pennies. Who, who knows? Maybe she took my gum. She probably didn't. Who does that? Takes one piece of gum out of that. Why not take two? I just think it's kind of funny. Okay. So the next store that we have is Family Dollar. And um, I think you guys know specifically, I don't ever shop at that store. So as you can see, this Oral-B brush is exactly a dollar. There's many. So pay attention. You're grabbing the right one, which is two of these. Let's take a closer look at them. So it is the Oral-B Clean and Healthy. See what's written on the side? Blast away plaque and it's the medium one. These are a dollar. And just to show you the UPC, if you want to look for this exact one, boom, here it is. Um, so earlier in the week, people were getting, I think, like nine, um, but I was only able to get two because this coupon was the only one attaching. To answer a quick question, because it's a three off of two, people are going to be like, well, can I grab three instead and get three for free? The answer to that is no, because um, at Family Dollar, there is no overage, so you'll have to pay a dollar if you grabbed a third one. Here is my receipt. So it does not get any better than that. I just paid the tax. And after I paid the tax, the cashier, um, she's like, how'd you do that? And I'm like, okay, well, load this coupon. She's like, thank you very much. So <laughs> she was really happy too to get two free toothbrushes. And that's precisely how she sounded. So don't come for me in the comments. So if you go to the bottom of your Family Dollar app and see where it says scan. So it says deal scan wallet account. The scan one, that's what you press to see if the coupons will attach to the product. So I know earlier in the week, um, a lot of ladies were getting like nine of those toothbrushes for free because there were other um, digital coupons that were attaching, but I think they managed to go in there and unattach them. So it's only that three off of two. Um, and I'll just show you them really quickly if you're like, well, which ones? Um, I think Saving with Myra had uh, this deal, but the six off of four and the five off of three, those were attaching and that is no longer working. So don't even try. And if you scan that UPC with the app, you'll know precisely what I'm talking about. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.